Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Just imagine what society today would have looked like, could have looked like, if church leaders had done their job for the past 50 years. Had a vigorous defense been put up against the evil of contraception back in the 60s, even before the 1960s. If the American hierarchy would have fought tooth and nail against no-fault divorce back in the day, and against Catholic politicians who supported it, would have flat-out excommunicated most of the Kennedy clan when there was still something fearful and consequential about being excommunicated. Imagine if the seminaries would have been properly patrolled and monitored in the 1940s and 50s to screen out men who were there for a hundred other reasons other than love of souls. What if the catechetical garbage flowing out of Catholic publishers would have been slam dunked before it ever got in front of the eyes of a Catholic student? Or if women religious orders would have been purged of feminazi lesbians just waiting their turn to get revenge on their male masters? Or if male religious orders would have been purged from the seminaries on down of effeminate men looking for some psychosexual drama outlet and a place to meet like-minded men? Imagine for just a moment, allow yourself to dream what the culture would look like today if we had real men battling the plague of homosexuality in the culture back in the 1970s instead of prelates like Cardinal Joseph Bernadine in Chicago and Cardinal John Dearden in Detroit embracing that subculture. If we had prelates who could recognize the spiritual meltdown occurring instead of helping it along if they were surrounded by men and women who actually cared for the faith more than themselves and their own interests and pet projects? How would bishops have been served so much better by those around them if their staffs hadn't been so concerned about becoming bishops themselves? What would things be like now if there had been real men who loved and believed in our Lord's real presence in the Blessed Sacrament instead of those who had lost their supernatural faith? Where would the culture be now if valiant men, virtuous men, had shouted from the rooftops and pounded on the pulpits that truth is truth and evil is evil no matter how either may appear? What if politicians would have had to pay a price among Catholic voters for their choice to support evil in all its various forms? What would the world look like today if presidents and clergy at Catholic universities had kept true to their identities instead of polluting young Catholics' minds for generations. How incredible, how far removed from the darkness would our families and loved ones be now, if only? If only. And how much greater would the likelihood be now that many of these men back in the day might not have been damned if they were? Well, moving forward, Catholics today, you and I have been given a world drowning in evil because of Catholics of yesteryear and the men they trained to run the show today. The question is, therefore, look into your crystal ball down the road and ask yourself, what will Catholics of the next generations say about me and how I acted today in the name of the church? And don't forget, by the time the future rolls around and they ask that question of us, our blessed Lord will have already answered it for us. And the answer will be either heaven or hell. God love you. I'm Michael Boris.